Hello, Georgia B back again. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. This card, oh, that shouldn't be there. That's my next card. Is a um, idea from Pinterest. I've had to change a few things up because I didn't know what she did. But the whole things was her an idea off of Pinterest. I can't remember what the lady's name is or oh, person. It might not be a lady. So, I have got, I'm going to use the same colours, because I've got the same scraps, and all the leaves are going to be different, because, I don't need that, I've been in my, maybe one day box, and found a load of white leaves, which I'm going to use, and this butterfly is from Butterfly Brilliance. I've got a load of them, so I'm going to use that. I've got scrap papers here for the circles. Oh, I might need that because I've got a big bit. More scrap. Right, I've got a card base somewhere of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. I've got Two pieces of basic white at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. One for the inside and one for the outside. Now I've already cut out all the circles using the circle dies. And that will just sit on top of there with some coloured paper underneath. I have got some fresh freesia cardstock from the in colours. I am changing it up a bit because when I made this at card paper craft group and I couldn't get internet there so I couldn't look at Pinterest to see what I'd done but when I cut back I looked and there was script stamped behind it so I'm going to add it to this one because that is a bit plain but other than that Everything else will be the same. Maybe I'll change the butterfly. Oh no, I won't. I've got green ink out for the butterflies. So let's get started. So we need to put that there so I can see what I'm doing. Here's that. And get a scrap of paper. And what I'm going to do is stamp this script like that in Smoky Slate. That's not very straight. Right, link it up. And now I'm just going to stamp that there. Just so there's a little bit of script. You can't see it most probably. Here yeah, in the background. We don't want it too dark. Now we're going to turn it over. Don't need that anymore. And we're going to start adding some bits of coloured paper. Now I need to get the fresh freesia in the picture. Let's see. Yeah. So, get some glue and I'll just glue round the circle and add that in. Then I got this one and added a bit of this in. I'm just going to glue this. I 
wrong one. That one needs to be over there. Yeah. Now I've got this glycerin shiny um, vellum. I know it's not fresh freesia, but it's near it. So I'm just going to glue a piece of that in. And there we have our our colours in, our circle. Get rid of all these, don't need these anymore. And this, I am going to glue it on here now, but let's get the bone burger out and burnish my card. And we're going to stick this on. So ready to add on our leaves and decoration we've got to colour the butterfly in but first I need to cut out a stitch circle which oh, I did get out Oh, I need a leaf as well. So let's cut this circle out. Now we have a circle. And now we need, what did I say, a coloured leaf. So I am going to cut out from um, this is the Forever Fern batch. I'm going to cut out this. No, that's up. So we've got all our little bits that we need. Now this is going to go like that on there. And this is going to go on dimensionals. going to pop three on it. Some glue on it, and I'm going to pop that down like that. And then we just tuck these leaves underneath 
Now this isn't going to be the same because, um, like I said, these are out of my maybe someday box. So they're just bits of white leaves that I found in there and I'm just going to use up. I can't remember what this is out of. So it's all going to be like that. So let's start gluing them in. That would be a good idea, wouldn't it? all that <coughs> wheezing to eh? oh there's another one and then this one too much. Won't go down. And then we'll put this on there when it's coloured with the sentiment which we've got to do yet. So the sentiment we're going to do from Blessings of Home and it's Have a Perfect Birthday, which I've got here, using my Versafine ink, I'm going to ink that up and stamp that down there, Have a Perfect Birthday. Which we will, and then get my guillotine. I'm going to chop a little bit off. The bottom. Nicely. So now we've got to do is colour this butterfly in. Right, 
what I'm going to do with this is with old olive and mossy meadow and then get a brush not my green or is that my green Let me tell which one's which. So, with old olive, I'm just going to colour it all in like that, and then with mossy meadow, I'm just going to colour in the edges. Then I'm going to lift it up and just. Make it really dark. All right, I'm going to do it this way. And there's our green butterfly to go on there. So I will have to lay like that and we're going to put some dimension on the, but I'm going to use these strips because I only want a bit on the end. A bit too far there. That's better. Right. Let's glue this butterfly down. And take off and I'm going to add some gems but I'm just going to add three Whether put a couple down, yeah, I think I'll put a couple down this body.
need another one because that'll make that an even number and we don't want even numbers do we There we are. Let's put some gems on this one. I'm sure I've got glue on my finger. room for four on this one. Oh no. There you have it. Two nice little cards. Birthday cards. Hope you like them. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.